Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how you can play an MP3 audio file in Python. So let's get right into it. Firstly, you're going to need to import Pygame, Time, and Fredin because we'll be needing all of these for this tutorial. You might need to do pip install Pygame if you don't have the Pygame library. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the tutorial. Next, we're going to create a function that's going to just be responsible for playing music. So we're going to do def play underscore music and have a parameter called mp3 file. So this line is going to create our function called play music and we're going to take in a file path to the mp3 that we want to play. Then we do pygame.mixer.init. So this initializes the mixer module in pygame and this is required for us to play sounds. Then we do pygame.mixer.music.load mp3 file. Then we do pygame.mixer.music.load mp3 file. So this line loads the mp3 file from the specified file path into our music mixer. And then we can do pygame.mixer.music.play and this line will start playing the music that we've loaded into our mixer. So now we need to make a function that just waits for user input. So we're going to do def wait underscore for underscore input. So we're going to define our function that will wait for user input. Input with two brackets is next and this line pauses the program until you press enter. It doesn't store the input anywhere, it just waits for the enter key to be pressed because that's all we need. Then we can do pygame.mixer.music.stop. When this line is reached it will stop the music playing in our mixer and it's only reached after the user hits the enter key. Now you might be thinking, okay Max, you've got some new lines of code here, but why did you make a wait for input function? Well, I'm going to show you why now. So we've got two lines of code here. The first one is music underscore thread equals threading dot thread, target equals play music, which is this function here, and args equals synthia dot mp3. Then we're going to do input underscore thread, threading dot thread, target equals wait for input, which is this function. Basically, we're creating two new threads. One's going to be targeted at the play music function, and we're going to pass in the synthia.mp3 file path so we can play that theme. And we store then the thread into the music underscore thread variable, but we don't start the thread running yet. And we're doing the exact same thing for our input thread. So we're going to be doing input underscore thread equals threading dot thread target equals wait for input. So we're going to be running this function on a thread and this function on a different thread. And you might be thinking, but why? Well, basically, since we're not making a game, we need something to keep the program alive because if we were to just play music, it would start playing the music and then the program would stop instantly because there's no more code after. But if we make another thread, that thread can just exist to wait for user input and that can keep the program running where otherwise it will just close because there's no more lines to execute. After that we're going to do music underscore thread dot start and then input underscore thread dot start. So we're going to start the threads we just created. And so that's basically it for this tutorial but there's two things we need to go over. So if you're in Visual Studio you can go to your Python environments and then you can right click on your Python environment, go to manage packages in Python and then you can just type pygame and then you can click here to install it or click the run command pip install pygame. You might have to do this command somewhere else depending on how your python is set up but we're in Visual Studio so we can do this, it's really simple, really easy. Also if you're in Visual Studio you can right click on your project and go to open folder in file explorer and this is going to be where I have my mp3 file. It's right next to the python file meaning I just have to reference the file name and no subfolders. You can put the file wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. With all that, save your work and then hit play. And as you can hear, we can hear the Cynthia theme. Well, a different version, not the original version. And that's basically it for this tutorial. As you can see, the program didn't close, we hit enter and then the program stops. So, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.